Hello, so this is Haven, and I'm going to do a tutorial on Blender, GIMP, and Sync. And what that is, is it's the ability to create a texture in both Blender and in GIMP for your mesh or your Sculpty products. Um, it's just a nice, fun tool and comes in handy in a lot of different ways. Um, too many to actually go into, but when you start using this, you'll find more and more uses for it. So the first thing that we need to do is, um, over here, you're going to see that uh, there are some uh, files that we have. We have Blender Auto Refresh and GIMP Auto Refresh. Both of these Auto Refresh folders need to have their contents put into your programs. So these are the installation folders. These are not the user folders. So for Blender, I'm going to my hard drive and program files 86. Yours could be in a different place depending on whether you're a 32-bit or 64-bit or if you've saved them in a different place. But all the same, you want to go to your installation folder and that's going to be called Blender Foundation. In the Blender Foundation folder, we're going to go to the Blender folder. And you'll see you have, um, I have quite a few of them here. These are just for the different versions of Blender. So I'm going to go to 269. Obviously, I have mine done already, but um, I won't be dragging them in when we get there. So 269 into the scripts folder. Now, you don't have to actually open the scripts. And sometimes if you open scripts, you could accidentally drag these into a folder, which you don't really want to do. So... I would stay in the installation um, version number and then in the Blender Auto Refresh, double click to open it and drag and drop the Blender External Paint Auto Refresh Python file into the scripts folder. Like I said, I have mine in there already, so I'm not dragging it again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this window. I'm not going to close it. The reason I minimize them is just in case something doesn't go right, I have the folders open that I worked with, so I don't have to search for them. Now for the actual GIMP one. I'm going to come to my GIMP Auto Refresh folder, and in here I have five files. These Python files need to get put again into the installation um, instance of GIMP, not the user one. So double click on GIMP2, Minds and Program Files. I'm going to go to the library and go to GIMP and 2.0. Here I have a plugins folder. Again, you don't have to open this up to drag and drop them in there. Just select them all and drag them into the plugins folder. So with that done, you can go ahead now and minimize this window. We're also going to be able to minimize this one. Now, in the auto refresh, I do have an image that I want to get rid of. And that's not it. Let's see, where did it go? I guess that is the one. Okay, so we'll just close that. Now, opening up these two programs um, after you install these is best because if you have these open first and then install them, um, they probably won't show up. So you have to close them and open <clears throat> them again anyways. So what I've done is I've gone to File and User Preferences and pulled up my User Preferences window. In the Add-ons tab, I'm going to type the word Paint into the search bar. And when I do that, I get Paint, External Paint, Auto Refresh right here. And I want to check mark the little box um, next to the running man at the end. After you check mark that, you can go ahead and click on Save User Settings and then close your preferences. And that should be installed. Then we want to come over to, uh, and the fact that it was even there to check mark shows that we installed it right. So over in GIMP, though, I want to go to Filters. And in Filters, if I see Blender GIMP Auto Refresh and all five of these choices here, I know that I installed it correctly in the GIMP folder. These right now are not highlighted. Don't worry about that. That's simply because we have nothing we're working on yet, so they're not going to show. 
we need to create an image. And this image we're going to save to our computer. Then we're going to have both programs using this image at the same time. And it is going to auto-save its changes that it makes. So Blender will save its and GIMP will save its changes to the saved file or image. And um, it will automatically update in the opposite program. But that image needs to be made here inside of uh, Blender because we're also going to make use of saving the UVs for the unwrapping. So in the 3D viewport, I'm going to use Shift and A to add a mesh plane. Actually, I'm going to do a cube. And I will select it all in edit mode and use Control E to mark my seams. I will then come up here into the UV image editor and I will um, create, um, actually, I'm not going to create it yet. I need to unwrap this first. So I will hit U and choose unwrap. And there's my UVs. Now I want to put this window here into texture paint mode. So where it says edit mode at the bottom, click on it and change it to texture paint and that's good. Then we're going to come up here to this window and we're going to create a new image. So this image is going to be called something we can identify. So Blender and GIMP and click the alpha off and OK. And now you can see that I have the paint brush around my um, cursor here and if I hit T I pick up the um, painting tools. In the UV image editor, well, actually first, let me go back in edit mode, and we want to change this one first. So let's go into view here, not the button, but the menu here, the drop down, and change it to paint. And hit the letter N to pull up your toolbar here to pull up your painting properties um, settings. And here you see external paint auto refresh in this um, panel and so that means we've um, installed it correctly again. It's our second sign of installing it correctly. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create that new image and I don't know why it didn't stay. Alright, so Blender GIMP. Whoops. And one day I'll actually learn how to type. <laughs> Until then, we can have fun laughing at me. All right, so there we go. Now what I can do is change this one into texture paint. There we go. And it turns black not because uh, it's black or anything's wrong, but because it is now uh, got this texture on it that we have up here in the editor. We need to save this. So we're going to go to Image and Save as Image. And we'll navigate to where we want to save it and then click Save as Image. There we go. So that's all done. The next thing that we want to do is come down here into these external auto uh, refresh settings and uh, always turn on UVs and that's so we can export the UVs with the image. And down here you'll see that we have an on and an off button. Right now it's off. Well, actually it's on. I must have turned it on already uh, when I was doing this earlier. So on, you're going to see active either external paint or you'll see active blender paint. Uh, so what we have here is active external paint. That means anything we do in the external program is going to show up here um, in the process. It's going to be saved as the next step. And if we click on the mode button, it changes to Blender Paint. So anything we do in the Blender program is going to get saved to the computer file that we saved the image and then updated inside of GIMP. And it'll go back and forth. So when we go to GIMP, we can't go to File and New. We have to actually open up the image that we saved. So File and Open. Open and GIMP Blender. And actually, 
I have the wrong one here for some reason. This says Blender GIMP. So let me go ahead and save that again. So uh, image save as image and let's see what happened. Uh, I saved it where I thought I had. Let me just add a number onto it and save again and then file and open and here we go I do not know why it's saving it backwards oh because I probably saved it under a different name okay so <laughs> no big deal anyway so here's the image and it's ready to go um, but you'll see that it's not turned on yet and we don't have the UVs yet so we need to go to filters and Blender GIMP Auto Refresh and just turn it on. Then go back to Filters, Blender GIMP, and hit oh, um, UV Import. And when the import is brought in, you'll see that, or the UVs are brought in, that it's called Ignore. And this means that when you save your final image, this layer will be ignored and not exported with it. So you don't ever have to worry about that one. I am going to click on this and turn the opacity down a little bit uh, because I want to be able to use it, but I don't want it to be in the way of what I'm doing. You always want to click, um, be painting on this top layer, and you'll see that as you go through this, refreshing from one to the other, more and more layers get stacked here for you to work on. Now you could change that with your merge settings in here in your auto refresh, except I kind of like having this as a bit of a history just in case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start inside of Blender. So paint, external paint is set to Blender paint. And now what I can do is I can come in here. Also, do you see here that we changed the view from view to paint? I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. I think I did. And so we can pick a color and increase our brush size and start painting in this window. And you'll see that even as I'm painting, it's being refreshed right away in the other window. And if I choose a paint color here, it's painting here, it's updating here, and inside of GIMP. Now I can change my Blender Paint mode to external paint and the external just means the external program outside of blender and so I can do things like create a new layer I can pick my text tool and increase my size a little bit maybe that's too big yellow is a nice color for my text so I'll just type here and type my name and how about if I make that just a little bit bigger so we can see it a little better. All right. And then what I'll do is I will take this layer and let me just uh, alpha to selection, create a new layer. On this new layer, I'm going to fill it with another color. Let's try, let's try a pink or something. Click OK. And then I will bucket fill this area with a pink. Uh -huh. And I can deselect everything. Whoops, wrong button. Wrong button. Get rid of that. And shift or control D and then take that top layer and just nudge it up into the side a little a yellow drop shadow to a pink name so that's kind of cool uh, now the part that's really cool about this is that it actually um, works with SL as well and you guys may have seen this on my local textures video but let me go ahead and do this real quick so I've created um, a box here and on this box I'm going to go to textures and click on the blank texture uh, here when my window pops up go to local and 
add and here is the image I'm doing now and click open click on it in the window here and OK and this is going to be a little different because it's actually showing up on a cube on all sides because this is a prim and this is a texture for a mesh so I'm going to go in here and just close this uh, well actually I don't want to close it yet let me make that a little bigger first and then I'll close the edit window you don't even have to have the edit window open <clears throat> when you do this okay so there's that now I can come over here and choose um, mode internal paint which is blender paint and take maybe a yellow brush yellow paint and I can add it here and you see it gets updated in both places rather quickly I like how fast it works you can see it happening and so I think that's really cool and basically you can just go back and forth anything that you can do inside of GIMP you can do um, uh, use uh, for your texture technique in Blender and then watch those two things transfer into um, SL so whoops Blender paint do you see I made a mistake so I added this image while I was in GIMP but I had Blender paint set so I'm just going to click mode to change over to external and give it a minute and there it goes it updates here and inside Second Life. So that's how Blender and GIMP and Sync work and how they can work with our local textures. So have fun with it. Thank you.